this is AJ Grossman and welcome to my studio again and um, let me show you this this swatch um, was in a workshop from several years ago and this is all I have left and I've made more since and this is actually um, instant coffee and tissue paper so if you're a crafter or like me who works in encaustic, this is really nice to get an age effect or different textures on it. And everybody's always asking me, I just call it coffee paper. So today we're going to show you how to make coffee paper. So let me set up the studio and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. We need instant coffee. Not regular ground coffee, instant coffee. We need water. Now I repurpose everything, so if you change out your bottles, please make sure you label it. We need tall kitchen garbage bags, or any garbage bag. And you'll see that um, this is really important. And then the other thing is tissue paper. Go to the dollar store and you get all the tissue paper that you will want and need. And Okay, so we're ready to start. You're gonna take your tall kitchen garbage bag and you're going to wrinkle it up. I usually do about six to eight of these and I'll crinkle them up and put a couple rubber bands around them and then let them sit for a little bit, but um, just so that they hold the wrinkle. And I'm not gonna open up all the way. And then I'm gonna put my tissue paper on top of it and saturate. Now, if you get it flat first, then wrinkle the paper, um, a lot of times the tissue paper gets very fragile and it's going to um, rip and tear it. You may have to adjust along the way. We want to try to utilize as much of it as we can. Now, this paper that I happen to have from the dollar store is a little thicker than normal. Sometimes, you know, what do you get for a dollar? They don't have a lot of quality control. So, but, um, we try to manipulate it as best we can. You can also double it up, lay it over. It doesn't have to be completely flat. And the good thing about it is when it's wet, it's very fragile. And if you have the bag, you can slip a cardboard underneath of it if you have to move it to another place. So I take my coffee and I'm just rubbing it with my hands. And what it's doing, it's actually like reconstituting itself. I've tried it with tea, but the tea leaves are just um, not strong enough to really make a good stain, and I have a different process for that. If you um, still have a coffee maker that uses a paper filter, you can always save those papers. That filter paper is great. If you dump it out, hang them up to dry, you'll get some really interesting um, looks with that. Sometimes I'll just keep adding it. I'll add more water. And I'm just gonna keep on working on that and make a few more sheets and it's gonna sit and dry. And uh, when it's done, I'll come back. 